Hey Divas, welcome or welcome back. It's the girl Keisha here with another video. And girl, we are still setting up our new 90 day budget workbook for the next 90 days, which is April, May, and June. I will link the previous videos down below. We've already, um, you know, kind of set it up in my name. I went over my 90 day goals. And I also did a uh, budget with me, doing my monthly budget. And today, I'm gonna go ahead and update my sinking funds and savings challenge tracker. Just counting my sinking funds and savings challenges to see where I'm starting the month off with. So if that sounds like something you're interested in seeing, then stay tuned. All right, Divas, well, I already went ahead and I did a bill swap consolidation of all my sinking funds and savings challenges. Girl, I felt so good that I got that done. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure to link it down below. So first we're gonna start off with, uh, with the twins' birthday and they have absolutely nothing. Their birthday is April the 1st, but because um, they celebrated it actually the last week in March because that's their spring break and no one was gonna be around for it. So we went ahead and switched it out. Next we have Mike's birthday. His birthday's also in April and I took that money out because I've already started purchasing stuff, so I already took that out. So he's starting with nothing. Next is Mason's graduation. So he has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Mason's birthday, he has $40 in here. My birthday, we have 50 bucks in here. Next up is Halloween. $20 here. Thanksgiving, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, excuse me. Oops. Next is Christmas. Christmas has 30 bucks. New Year's Eve. 20 bucks. Valentine's Day is also $20. Holidays are for those in-between holidays that I'm not don't have a specific envelope for, like Easter, things like that. 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. Okay, on to the next one. Next is my high priority sinking fund. So first we start with Amazon. 20, 30, 31. Consolidating this money was the best thing ever. Because I feel like I'm just flying through this part. Back to school. 20, 40, 60, 81, 05. Beauty. 20, 40, 45. Car maintenance, 10, 20, 35, 36. We need to get some new tires. Shoot, I keep cutting myself. You see this? This is my second cut. Oh, I'll be right back. I cut myself the other day. And then now I just recut myself. Costco. 10, 11, 12, 13. My Costco card. Football. Nothing in there. We spent it all for the registration. Now I am, I still need to continue the stuff because when this season actually does come about, I'm going to have to get cleats and all the other stuff, so that's why I'm still keeping it in here. HOA has 25 bucks. Home maintenance, 40 bucks. When I was doing my bill swap, I just didn't have enough 20, so some things just had to stay as they were. Kid savings, nothing in there. Remember we gave it all to football. 
So we'll start that back up again in April. Summer camp, and I took all the summer camp. Okay, on to the next one. So now we're in our low priority and I want to introduce to you a new envelope. This is for my bag repair. If you watched my vlog I did in March, you see that I took my Louis Vuitton bag to the store to get repaired. And it's gonna be about 600 bucks or so. So I am going to um, take the money from a few sinking funds I'm no longer going to be using. The first one is Tech. So I'm gonna pull the money out of tech, $35, and I'm gonna put it into here. Tech, because I, I'm not paying for anything right now. I have a priority. I do wanna pay off my phones and all those sorts of things, but girl, there's so many things ahead of the line of that. So I'm just gonna get this out, okay? And then um, another one I'm getting rid of is bulk purchases. Um, Bulk purchases, I'm also probably gonna give this to, was I gonna get this to the bag? Bulk purchase, I'm taking out. And I think I'm gonna add this to one of my savings challenges. So let me just put this to the side for now. So we're taking, out of, taking this one out as well. And there's one more I'm taking out, but I'll get to that, okay? So bag repair now is gonna be starting with $35. Um, date night has 20 bucks. Family fund should have $45, let's see. 10, 20, 30, 45. Fur babies, which is Sashi, should have, let's see. 10, 25, 26. 26. Gifts has zero. Kids activities should have 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. Home decor, a hundred bucks. My Peloton bike, 20 bucks. Sam's Club, you can see, $10. That's Sam's Club card. Okay, shopping, this is also another one I'm getting rid of for right now. Um, because I include shopping into my budget. It doesn't really make sense for me to save and stuff for it right now. So this had $20. I'm gonna put this to the side, see what I wanna do with it towards the end. Travel docs. I'm sorry. $21. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, next one, my vacation binder. And the vacation binder has several categories. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna um, tally up all the categories and I can just put how much I spent on my vacation, or saved rather. So 51, two, 52. Food category, 20, 40, 60, 80. So plus 80. Then 132. Fun. This is like for excursions, things like that you do on vacation. 20, 40, 60, 81 plus 100. So we're at 12232. Hotel, lodging. 20, 40, 60, 80. Kids. This is like if the kids want to play arcades or something that's specific to them. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're at 336 bucks. Merch, souvenirs, that kind of stuff. 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4. I did consolidate this binder as well, but I ran out of 20s, like I said. 
relaxation. This is pretty much a spa day for me and my husband. We're at 100. Shopping, this is for us to buy items before we get to go on the trip. 20, 40, 60, 80. Forty tips, girl. You know when you go there, you got the bellhop, you got all sorts of people. That's twelve dollars. Taxi driver, like all those things you don't think about. It's like vacation creep. Like if you in if you're familiar with projects and they and they call it like project creep scope creep, like you have a plan and then other things start to get into the plan. Well, sometimes you have a budget for your vacation and all these other little expenses come up and you don't even realize you have to pay them. So that's why I was really meticulous when I put this binder together. Transportation, 51.2. Now this transportation could be several things. This could be, okay, you have to park your car to the airport or get to the airport. And then actually when you get to your destination, transportation around wherever your destination is. Spending, this is almost like miscellaneous, just have money on you. 10, 9, 20, 30, 1, 32. Pets, we do have our dog Sashi who's always in my background, so to put her up in a pet hotel. 20, 40, 50, 55, 56. So, that's another thing you think about when you're traveling. You forget that expense about your pets. Well, at least I used to. Personal care, you know, we have to get our hair done, nails done, all those sorts of things before we go on vacation. 20, 40, 50, 55, 6. <coughs> Excuse me. Plane ticket, actually getting to your destination. Uh, $400. Vacation essentials. This is pretty much all the stuff that you buy on Amazon, girl. Your lotions, your potions, all the things. Sunscreen, $16. I am going on a trip with my husband, and I'm ordering a ton of stuff. But I was like, ah, oh, why would I bother this little $16? Let it stay there and grow. Okay. So the vacation, we saved $1,148, which is awesome. Okay, on to the next one. Next is our business binder. We're gonna do this the same way as we did the vacation. It's gonna add up all the categories. So Amazon, it's $20. Cricut, $20. Etsy, $25. YouTube. Oh, girl, what happened? Was I doing this? 20. Okay, $85. A P.O. box plus 20. Equipment, is anything I might need? 20. Beauty. 20. Business expenses is $40. Planner attic, stuff for my planner, anything, 20. Month ahead, 20, 40, 45, 46. I have subscriptions right now, like Canva, Amazon. Like There's a lot of subscriptions that I want to be a month ahead on, just like my bills, so. Taxes. So March was the first month I actually got income for my side hustle, ladies. 25, 26, 26, 27. So I finally got to put some tax money in here. Okay. So we have 270 in our business binder. Okay, on to the next. Okay, girl, we're gonna do this the same. This is my month ahead binder, so we're gonna go ahead and just add up all the categories for the month ahead. So the first category is a mortgage, 20, oh, excuse me, 70, girl. You see, when you consolidate, you forget there's big bills right behind there. 
what a surprise. 70 bucks. Electricity is only 20. Not only, but $20. Internet, $10. Car payment is $30. Cell phone bill, $15. I'm kind of cheating on this one because I already know what's in here. Utilities is $10, plus you can see it. Ooh, $10, $20, My finger is hurting right now. Essentials, $15, like household needs, stuff like that. Water, it's for the water bill, $30. Insurance for all the insurances you pay. Okay, insurances is 10. Family, this is like miscellaneous. $10. Subscriptions. And waste management, which is our trash company. Okay, $270 in the month ahead. That's good, girl. I think I just started this this month or last late last month. Two seventy. Okay. Lastly, is our savings challenges. Let's get that out. So what I'm gonna do with with this this is money I pulled from the envelopes I'm no longer using. Let's see how much this is. Ten, twenty, thirty, twenty-five, forty, fifty, Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna put it in here, and next time I do a savings challenge cash stuffing, I will stuff it, okay? So each of these items have their own line, so we'll just go right through them. Wardrobe essentials, 51, 20, 35, 135. Next is relax and reset, the spa day, 50, 65. And if you're new to this channel, guys, I have a savings challenge book and these savings challenges coincide with the challenges I have in my book. Excuse my kids in the background. Book that trip, 51, 50, 70, 170. This is for us to go to the Essence Festival in July. Um, back up. I'm going to put these in the Essence Festival. The fives, we put in the five dollar challenge, and everything else: ten, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna put this in the Essence Festival. Okay, so that makes this an even. 200. I'm gonna put this in the five dollar challenge. Let me do that right now. I just don't want to go into a new month with unaccounted money. Okay. Oh, this is the one envelope I did not uh, consolidate. My bad. So I have 170, so 180. 190, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we all can agree it's three, uh, 200? Okay, cool. Next we have our emergency fund. 20, 40, 60, 80, 95. Okay, our Roth IRA. I was finally able to use my first placeholder, guys. So 500, 600, 700, 800, 850. School zone. This is for my kids, 5 to 9. 20, 40, 60, 81, 1, 2, 3. <coughs> Okay, home sweet home. 
20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 75, 175. Christmas, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 90 bucks. Fifty-two week challenge. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 185. This challenge is supposed to have 20. 2023 and 2023. <laughs> okay, the $5 challenge was one that I totally missed when I was consolidating, but that is okay. Let's see how much we have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to add up the totals and see what we're starting the month of April with. I'll be right back. Okay, so on the first page, we saved... Let me see. On the first page, everything here is $787. On the second page, we're at $3,935. In total, both pages together, we have $4,722. So we're starting off our next 90-day period with $4,722. Let's go. So thank you for staying to the end. If you enjoy cash stuff and sinking funds, budget with me. I would love for you to be part of my family. So hit that subscribe button. And those of you who are coming back, thanks girl for coming back. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Finger damaged and all. Later.